popularity go up as the man about town this week showing run around again? Uh, I get a few comments, but I think it, the story's wearing a bit thin now. It's been ten, oh, 10 or 11 years of the the same sort of story going back to Adelaide, but uh, there's a few other boys as well from back home and in our staff as well. So everyone's looking forward to it, but hopefully, yeah, can show the boys a few things and have a good have a good 10 days. Do you embrace the get around you know, concept with anything different for the team? Uh, well, essentially, it's just two games for us, and it's probably worked in our favour being able to stay over there and get the two games. But um, I think the gather round uh, thing as a whole is good for the comp. It seems exciting, and uh, Adelaide have seemed to do it really well. So, from that point of view, it seems like a, a great thing. But um, for us, we're travelling as usual, and it's sort of uh, just another game for us this weekend. Daryl, sort of encourage you guys to enjoy the strong start to the season. How much of that do you do and, and how do you switch that into focusing Carlton? Yeah, well, I think banking early wins is definitely a, a major positive. Um, so from, from that side of things, hopefully it helps us just build confidence in in our game plan and what we trained all summer. So that's that's been a good thing. But um, yeah, we are really keen just to keep it going. We want to win every game that we can. Um, but yeah, hopefully we just play in the right way and keep building together as a group, especially early in the year. Does this game seem like an early litmus test? Two undefeated sides, um, the chance to remain in the top two or go top of the ladder if you win. Does it feel like this is an early sort of uh, indicator of where you guys are? Uh, well, it's, it's just a great test against a really good team. Um, it is just so early in the season to really um, look at it much bigger than that but um yeah Carlton are arguably the most informed team um yeah sure we're equal with them at the moment but uh yeah it's just it's such a long season so we can't get too carried away but we're really keen to see how we go up against them the magnet that made this year it seemed to work out really well for the top obviously and the table start have you seen yourself living with them in the next game and some of the changes that they've brought to make yeah um i've had a fair bit of experience back there so um it's not too different for me, but I have really enjoyed it. Um, being able to train all summer with the one role in mind has, was great for me. Um, and I just really enjoy the group we've got back there. Um, yeah, on and off field, really tight and really like playing with each other. Um, and I guess the, the other obvious one is Youngie in the midfield, which has been going great. He still every now and then can come back to help us as well. But um, yeah, I guess as a team, we're just seeing if we play the right way and value the right things um, within whatever our roles are. It's um, yeah, leaving us with a chance to be in every game. And that bond with the group is going to be really important when you come up against the sort of two forwards that Carlton have um, among the rest of the group. Yeah, they're obviously great players. They're, yeah, they've got a number of really good teams, but um, the way we play and when we play well, it is on the whole team to. Um, yeah, do all those things like put the pressure on the ball, um, slow slow the opposition down, all those sort of boring things. But that's where we really rely on that, and we'll need that this week. Based on who we've just seen um, down the plane, it looks like they'll be pretty much the same side. How important is the stability of this organization? I think it's a positive thing. Um, yeah, the thing that has been great for us is the people that have come in early in the year have just slotted in really well. Um, so I guess we have confidence in the depth, but yeah, I guess the more you can have a consistent team and just learning to play with each other, um, yeah, it can only be a positive. You mentioned gather around other team Adelaide. Where do you sit with having it in Perth? Yeah, it'd be great for us. I'm sure um, both both WA teams would love that. So I guess we've got a few, few more years of Adelaide, and then um, yeah, I'm sure. WA would be trying to put their hand up for it. I think it'd be a great thing and the state would love it as well. You mentioned the story's getting a bit old about you going back home, but do you still get excited about going there? I enjoy going back, just family and friends are there and um, I enjoy playing Adelaide Oval. It's a great stadium, so that's probably the main things. But yeah, yeah, just nice to see family and um, yeah, hopefully hopefully we have two good games. Carlton's record at Adelaide Oval is it great, yours is a bit better. Um, you said that you like it. Do you sort of bring that confidence to the rest of the group, or do you think about the role of the other one? Um, not too much. Like, yeah, it's somewhat a bit irrelevant when we're two interstate teams playing there. I guess the stat, um, you know, someone will have to win unless it's a draw. But 
um, yeah, I think as a, the team that we have, um, yeah, we're up to play anywhere. We get really excited playing in state. Um, we've got good routines and yeah, we're looking forward to this week. You saw Neil Lurkin's on the plane, obviously played really well to feel on the weekend. How important is it to have that pressure for spots, even though the field is going to Yeah, he's been really good. Um, all summer he's been great as well. So, um, yeah, it's just great to know that there's a number of guys, if if and when their opportunity comes, they're going to come in and perform. So it's certainly it's a tough situation when you're just missing out each week and trying to back up. But, um, yeah, we know he's there. He's super professional, um, trains really hard, and he's been playing well. So... Hopefully an opportunity can come at some stage soon. What have you made of Josh Draper's first couple of games at AFL level? Obviously when Brennan and Oscar went down, it, it looked like there was going to be a big hole in defence, but he's really really impressed in two games at AFL level for someone who's so young. He has, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not too surprised. Honestly, he's had, he had a great summer as well, but I think he's just got those athletic traits um, and does read the game really well. So I think that's just transferred... Um, quite easily and yeah, just with those guys Alex and Luke back there I think he's just got great direction and help which can almost make things a bit easier um, so yeah, yeah he's slotting great I think he's getting more and more confident and hopefully he can bring a bit more of um, I guess the offensive stuff and the drive when he uh, gets more confident. Do you reckon you can afford to start the Carlton game the same way you had the third throw? We obviously would like not to start like that and give up a lead. Um, yeah, obviously it has, well, I think each game has sort of been slightly different, but um, we have been down a little bit, probably from the first quarter onwards. But um, yeah, we do have great belief in our fitness and the way we can run out games. And if we stick to the, the plan, um, it will turn in our favor, but obviously we'd like it not to happen. Um, so yeah, we'll see, but we're confident. Um, yeah, if we can stick at it as best as we can for four quarters, we'll be in the game. Daniel did talk about trying a few things to get everyone up and about a little bit earlier. What are those things and have they made much difference? Uh, I guess there's little tweaks in the warm up or the way we do meetings and those sort of things. Um, you don't want to sort of go away from your normal routine too much and try and come up with um, yeah, things. There's no sort of magic answer, but yeah, just little tweaks um, and the right messaging. And I think as players, we are, we're definitely onto it and we want to be ready to perform as soon as the siren goes. So, um, yeah, no magic answer, but yeah, we're certainly trying to be at our best as soon as the game starts. You mentioned Hayden Young briefly before, but how have you seen his integration into the midfield? Obviously, Kate could have been there last year, but him alongside five, and they seem to be really, I mean, getting some good use out of him. Yeah, as a midfield group, they look um, are really, really good. They're, they're a tight group as well, but um, Youngy is just really competitive and quite a big guy, so he can get in there and match it with anyone. And with his competitiveness, he's brought a lot to it. And I guess you can say, yeah, the left foot in there adds a slight little dimension, can help with a few of the stoppages as well. So there's the technical sides, but um, yeah, I think we've got four or five really damaging midfielders in there so um, hopefully on any given day there's a number of them at the top of their game and it might look different each week but they're, they're all complementing each other. How important will it be to kind of stop those cut midfielders getting the supply before they back there? Yeah I think well each game uh, contested ball and time in the forward half is probably the main thing so uh, yeah that generally starts in the midfield and it's going to be a really good battle there they've got a great midfield group and um, yeah, like I said earlier, it's sort of how the team puts pressure on the ball and tries to slow the game down and those sort of things will be a, a big part of this game. Norwood throwing their hand up for uh, to get the outdoor yeah. player franchise, so how's that going to feel? I think it happened last year as well, this, a similar story. Um, they're a great club and uh, yeah, really proud history. Um, Probably anything further than that is a bit above my head of how it would all work. But um, yeah, they're a great club and um, yeah, it'd be years down the track. So I don't think it'd be anything I'd have to look into, but um, yeah, we'll see what, what happens there.